Hello, welcome back to the VDC space. Today we're gonna be doing a tunnel in Revit. We're gonna use a BIM family template in order for us to model a tunnel. Before I begin, I would like to ask you guys to subscribe if you are new and if you already subscribe, hit the notification button as I upload BIM modeling tutorials and Revit tutorials three times every week. Now, without further ado, let's jump into Revit. So I'm just gonna open a construction template and then after that, I'm going to go to, I'm just going to uh, deselect these and then go to file, new, and then family, and then drop down, and then metric structural framing beams and braces. So I'm just going to remove this extrusion and this uh, reference line in these reference planes, and then go to the left elevation. And on my left elevation, I'm gonna model uh, the profile of my tunnel. So I'm gonna go to create extrusion and then set the reference to reference plane left. Okay. And then pick the circle option. And then I'm gonna make it at uh, 11,000 millimeter diameter. So it's gonna be, the radius is gonna be 5.5. .5. And then I'm going to model the internal uh, circle. So it's going to be, we're going to make it uh, 5,400. Actually, we'll make it 5,000. There you go. And then I'm going to apply material to this. And then I'm going to make it uh, precast concrete. Okay. And then I'm going to say finish. And I think we can add parameters to this. So select the extrusion, edit extrusion, and then go to your dimensions. And then select your diameter. Select the outer diameter. And then it's 11,000. And then you're going to select your dimensions, create parameter. And then you're going to say outer diameter okay and then you're gonna lock it and then you're gonna select your dimension again go to diameter select the internal diameter and then select your your dimension go to create parameter and then you're gonna say inner diameter okay and then you're gonna lock it and then say finish and then go to your floor plan reference level and then you're going to drag your extrusion to your reference planes and then you're going to lock it and then do the same thing on the other side and then lock it so that you can control its length on your project so go back to your left elevation we're going to model our ballasts and roads and all those stuff so we're going to go to extrusion again and then set your reference to reference plane left. And then the first thing you're gonna place is our our crushed stone bedding. So I'm just gonna randomly place it uh, right there. And then I'm gonna say pick lines and then pick the the circumference of the inner uh, circle. And then I'm gonna say trim and extend, trim and extend. And then ap apply the material. So I'm just gonna say stone type in stone and then I'm going to say uh, crush uh, stone natural soldier I'm going to load it in apply OK and then I'm going to say finish go back to your floor plan reference level and then drag it to the reference planes lock it do the same thing on this side and then lock it go to your 3d view this is what we have so far so go back to your left elevation and then I'm gonna apply my I'm gonna apply my ballast. So for the ballast, I'm gonna go back to create extrusion, set the reference uh, plane to left, okay. And then I'm gonna place my ballast. So I'm just gonna randomly place it like this, and then pick lines, and then pick lines, and then trim and extend, unjoin, um, then to main extend uh, i'm gonna select this line go to mirror pick axis pick this re uh, middle reference plane and then it's copied to the other side and then on the material i'm gonna type in uh, gravel 
and then I'm gonna load in gravel and then apply OK and then finish and then go back to your floor plan reference level and then drag it towards the reference planes and then lock it perfect so this is what we have so far go back to your left uh, elevation extrusion and now we're gonna create our parapets so i'm gonna say extrusion again set the reference to left okay and then i'm gonna draw my uh, parapets so i'm gonna make it a thousand in width and then take it upwards by by 600 and then at 160 degrees i'm gonna take it uh, diagonally by 400 and then take it upwards again by 300 and then for the walkway it's gonna be 948 comma uh, three so i'm gonna say pick lines and then trim and extend trim and extend so this is what we have and then Our road, our road is gonna be actually our road is gonna be 350 uh, millimeter thick. So uh, this uh, vertical line for the parapet or the sidewalk, I'm gonna make it uh, 500. There you go. And then I'm gonna take this down like so. And then I'm just gonna select it, pick mirror axis, and then copy it to the other side go to material and type in concrete and then apply the material to this so i'm gonna say precast concrete okay and then finish and then go back to your floor plan reference level and then i'm gonna drag it towards the reference planes lock it and then drag it to this side and then lock it go to your 3d view this is what we have so far go back to your left and then go to create again and then extrusion set the reference to reference plane left okay and then i'm gonna draw my my road so the road is gonna be made up of uh, two uh, layers so the first layers i'm gonna apply the i'm gonna apply the the uh, what is it I'm going to apply the layer below. The first layer is going to be 100 millimeters. And then I'm going to go to material. And then I'm going to make it dash fold. Um, so I'm going to say asphalt pavement, load it in, apply, OK, and then finish. And then go to your floor plan reference level and then i'm gonna drag it to the reference plane lock it and then this side also and then i'm gonna lock it and then go back to your left and then i'm gonna say extrusion again set the reference plane to left okay and then i'm gonna uh, draw my concrete uh, road on top so it's gonna be 400 in thickness but remember the road has to have a chamfer so that you can redirect the water towards the drainage so i'm just in the middle i'm gonna draw a vertical line which is uh, 500 and then i'm gonna say type in sl to slice and then i'm gonna slice this uh, horizontal line and then i'm gonna join it towards the top like this from both sides and then remove this vertical line now you have a chamfer so the water will be redirected uh, from the center of the road towards the drainage uh, and then i'm gonna apply the material so i'm gonna say uh, cast in place uh, concrete okay and then i'm gonna say actually i'm gonna say precast and then okay and then finish and then go back to your floor plan reference level and then i'm gonna drag it towards this reference plane lock it and then this side also and then I'm gonna lock it and then go to a 3D view. This is what we have so far. And then 
I think that is it. Um, obviously, you can apply the railings because this is the sort of like a walkway. And if you want to take it further, you can place uh, the drain and the pipes. So in my next tutorials, I'm going to go into too much detail. I'm going to uh, place the jet engines in order to for the ventilation and all that. And then the pipe and also the MEP component. So I was just showing you guys how you can create a basic tunnel uh, using a BIM family template just for visualization. So I'm going to uh, load it into our project. I'm not going to save this. And then as you can see, this is what we have. So you can draw your tunnel. And then when you go to your 3D view, uh, this is what you have. And then you can try uh, different uh, configurations. I'm going to make it curve and then place it like so. Go to your 3D view. So this is what your curving tunnel looks like. This is actually perfect for visualization. So yeah, uh, that is it, you guys. It was a short tutorial. Uh, thank you for watching. Uh, please like, subscribe, and comment if I did well. Comment if I did bad. Criticize. Remember, BIM is people, policy, technology, and workflow. So I'll see you guys at the next tutorial. Peace.